Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how you can install Windows 11 on unsupported PC. So, as you can see, my PC is not supporting. I don't have TPM and secure boot and CPU requirements. So, how you can install it? This is without third-party applications. This is all official links from Microsoft and nothing here is in this video is from third-party applications or something like that. So also you will have option to save your data from Windows 10 when you upgrade to 11 or when you upgrade from 11 to a newer version. So you just have to keep in mind that at the end of the day, this is the unsupported Windows 11 PC. So PC that you use at work or you need it from product for productivity or something like that then I do not suggest you to install. But if you want to experiment like me and see how Windows 11 behaves and works, then you can go and install. So let's stop talking and let's go and install the Windows 11. So I'm just gonna close this. So now the first thing that we have to do is to go to this link it will be in the description of the video this is the microsoft windows 11 iso file so this is official website from microsoft and here when you scroll down here you can select here to download the windows 11 disk image so click on this one Select download and Windows 11 multi edition ISO x64 devices. Click on download now. And now here is very important to select the language of your Windows 10 currently that you're using, your current language that you're using. So how do you check? Go to start and type in region 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 settings and then here as you can see i have united states and then here on language again is english united states so just make sure it's the same language as your current one currently one using right now so i'm going to choose united states so here it is and click on confirm after that just click on this 64-bit download and the download should be starting as you can see it started right here and we have to wait for this to finish so we can make and install it so so after the ISO file has been completed and to download it, now we go and click on it, on it once and then we right click on it, hold right click and click on mount. And then from here, you will select everything like this. Then right click again and click on copy. If you are on Windows 11 and you don't see this copy, then you go to more options and click on copy. Now we go to this PC and we go to local disk C. Then right click here and make a new folder. New folder. And we're going to name this folder WIN11, Win11, everything lowercase like this and then we enter in this new folder that we created then right click again hold right click and click on paste so we paste the files from the from that folder so now we have to wait for this to finish and this depends on your hard disk or ssd if you have so we're just gonna be patient and wait for this to finish so all the files are copied to this folder So after the files have been successfully copied, now we go to start 
and we're gonna type cmd and we right click on this command prompt again hold right click and run as administrator make sure run it as administrator otherwise it will not work now we have to type this command c then two dots and we're gonna go slash backslash vin 11 then again backslash setup dot exe and then space and then forward slash product server like this and now when we press enter it should begin the setup so if you typed everything correctly like here then the setup should should pop up and go as normally so we're just gonna wait a little bit as you can see preparing make sure you typed correctly everything and it should be saying preparing like here if it doesn't start then maybe you misspelled some comments letters there so here as you can see it says install windows server but it's actually installing windows 11 so don't worry about that so we go to next here and we're gonna wait to get updates as you can see checking my pc literally just skipped automatically and now here we go accept as you can see now it works just fine and now here is when you if you want to keep your files i'm gonna keep my files but you can you can keep personal files only or do nothing so here we're gonna keep the files but i suggest you to back up your files anyway because you never know what's gonna happen so click next and now it's starting to install the windows so make sure you back up your files before doing this so you are 100 percent sure that nothing will go bad because you never know and after a while after getting the updates as you can see ready to install install windows 11 pro and keep the file settings and apps so after you click install it will begin to install so we click install and now we have to wait this to complete and our windows will be installed so just be patient and wait for this to finish your pc will restart several times so don't worry if it restarts several times because that's how it is and make sure you don't turn off your pc here as it says please keep your pc on so and uh, voila we're in windows 11 so as you can see we got a welcome screen so now i'm gonna show you that we're on the latest windows 11 version so we go to start and we're gonna type about and we're gonna click on about your pc and here as you can see we're on the version 23 h2 h2 so the last thing that i want you to show is how to go back if you don't like windows 11 okay so now let's say you tested the windows 11 and you don't really like it so you want to go to windows 10 so how do you do it is go to system here this system tab and then we're gonna scroll down until you see this recovery go on this the recovery and then here on go back click on go back so after 10 days passed you will no longer be able to go back to windows 10 so so now here you can give a reason why you don't like windows 11 so we're gonna do this go next and go to no thanks click on next and next and go back to windows 10 and that's pretty much it now you're going to windows 10 again back without losing your data thank you so much for watching subscribe for more tutorials like this if you liked it like and see you in the next video bye